Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. It is Monday, the 14th of the 3rd, 2016. Okay, up here in the Gulf of Carpentaria, we currently have a low pressure system developing, which is expected to further develop into a tropical low and hang around in the Gulf for the next two to three days. It then possibly may come across to North Queensland um, and develop further into a cyclone and move down the coast. You can see that good heavy rainfall has already been occurring up here in the Gulf and nearby adjacent inland areas with Normandon picking up near 80 mil, Camawheel 55, um, and these are expected to continue. If we have a look over here at um, GFS at the low level winds, you can see that the, the, the low pressure system is starting to develop here near the Queensland NT border um, this afternoon with an onshore flow extending down the Queensland coast delivering some showers. Um, again, onshore flow across the peninsula, both from the northwest and northeast there, uh, producing areas of showers, rain and storms. Heavy falls are expected through the Gulf and Peninsula districts today, tonight. And if we have a look into tomorrow, the tropical low continues to develop in the bottom of the Gulf or the Gulf region. Um, and obviously deliver heavy rainfall areas to nearby adjacent inland parts and coastal districts. By Wednesday, we may have a brief Category 1 cyclone in the bottom of the Gulf, in the southeast of the Gulf, which then begins to track towards the southeast over the Gulf Country, um, and a convergence extending down the coast from Townsville to Mount Isa, delivering um, scattered showers, possible rain areas, with um, heavy falls expected across the top. Go as far as Wednesday, there's a great deal of uncertainty after that. However, if we have a look over here on the um, Bureau's access model for the next three days, you can see that the low continues to develop and, and reaches about a 993 tropical low by the end of Wednesday while maintaining in the Gulf with heavy rain focus forecast around the North Queensland area. Over the next eight days, at this stage, we are expecting, we are confident that heavy rainfall will develop across the North Queensland from about Townsville to Mount Isa North. There are areas of up to 400. We could get up to 500 in isolated places, um, but broad areas of 100 mil plus. Um, these, th this rainfall will, will cause flash flooding, river and creek flooding in the area. So if you're travelling up there, obviously keep an eye on forecasts and, and for our further updates, but be very wary up here, guys. Um, there's a fair bit of rain coming. Down the coast, we're expecting some showers and into southeast Queensland later on through the week, we may have some thunderstorm activity in southeast Queensland with some more showers and, and rain down here. If you head over, guys, I have I have offered a, a much more extensive forecast video and we, and we also offer extensive forecast high resolution maps to our premium members. Um, you can see here we've got the tropical low in the Gulf circled, high risk of a tropical low Monday to Wednesday. We have areas of, of 250 up to 500 across the top shaded in, and then a tropical cyclone threat with a moderate risk out here in the Coral Sea from Thursday onwards. All right, so there is a lot of advantage in becoming a HSC Premium member. It is 52 cents a week or $27 a year, and we offer detailed forecasts. Um, these maps go out to three days with the high resolution stuff. And then we offer uh, extensive videos and that sort of thing. You can see here for today, heavy rainfall areas through the peninsula and Gulf country with um, scattered storms across the rest of North Queensland. All right, guys, so head over here and support the team. Um, you get a lot of mo uh, value for money when becoming a HSC premium member. And um, you get obviously a lot more, a lot more forecast content as well as live feeds from Facebook and Twitter. So you don't miss much over here. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and all eyes are on far north Queensland in the coming days. Cheers.